Hey guys, Will Tone here again at VTMA, and we're breaking down a couple other riffs from Led Zeppelin's Black Dog. So this is the part that comes in. It's sort of uh, the first break in the song that comes after it goes down to that, uh, the, when the riff goes to E. <laughs> Goes back to A. Cool. Now we're talking about this part of the song where right here it goes. Right, that part right there. So what we've got is we've got an A chord. So it's A power chord up to a C power chord here at the third fret on the fifth string. Back to the A. And he does some little fills. He goes. Uh, So that takes us to the third string, where we're bending the fourth fret a little, back to the second fret, back to the fourth fret, third fret, fifth string, and back to the A. So, so far we got. To end it, he goes from the A to the C again. And then the riff changes a little bit, third string, but then we go to the fourth string and walks down. So I've got four to two on the third string, uh, fourth string, three and open on the fifth. So I got... Same thing again. And then at that point, we're back into the, what would be like the second verse, and one thing that he throws in that's kind of cool, instead of just playing the open A string, he'll bend the third fret of the low E up to the A. So that happens a couple times in the song. You can listen for where that, where that happens, but it's definitely in the second verse, and I, I think it's in the, in the last verse, too. So he's doing that, and then there's a whole bridge section. It's also the same part for the solo, and that part goes something like this. And all that is is just, once again, your A power chord. Going down here to the G at the third fret. Back to the A. And then it's the second fret, F sharp note. Maybe bent slightly, just a little bit. So it's like... Right, second half, A, G, A, and that's just a move where you're playing the A chord, playing the G, back to the A chord, then we go to the third fret, C, on the fifth string, so, so far the whole thing is going to be, then, first one again, G chord, Really, it's just the open D and G strings and your third finger here. Um, I'm putting the uh, G in the bass, too. Why not? So it's like this. It's like a power chord, but just played with the sixth, fourth, third, and second string with the third fret there. Then we got a D power chord played with the open fourth string, second fret here, and a third fret here. And that's just like your D shape, just without the first string. So that's G, D. So I got... There's that bend taking us back into the verse. Okay, so there's all the sections, and if you want to know more about this or any other music, come on down and hang out with us at VTMA. We can learn a heck of a lot more about this stuff. See you later.